The Vertigo <laughs> pick. That is... Yes, sir, man. But um, <laughs> b b before... <laughs> Before we do get into Mirage, which is happening right about now. Uh, why do I even try? <laughs> why do I even try? Uh, well, oh, okay. All right. I'm Good just breaths. looking for a strong performance. That's all. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Here's the thing. We're in Mirage. But before we get into the map, before we get into the action, I really want to talk very quickly about Vertigo. It is the pick from order. It is also the map which Rooster beat Order on the last time they faced off against each other, right? So that's a, that's a curious pick from the side of Order. Yeah, I guess it's, it's just that both teams have done that. Because it's like the last time they played, I'm pretty sure it was exactly the same map pool. And uh, it was, yeah, both teams winning their opponent's map choice. So they played each other multiple times. I think they're going to know each other inside and out. So it, it's going to more look down to whether or not Order have improved a lot of the stuff that went wrong last time. Also just improved since earlier in the day. Because as I said, I, I was not impressed with some of the things that came out from them here. It, it was not a good showing. Individually, there were a few players stepping up, but there was huge pieces missing, big mistakes being made. Like sort of the the unforgivable combo of just like so many different things that you go okay that's unacceptable that's unacceptable now obviously having that and doing that in the upper bracket it's fine as long as they make it back through maybe it can be that sort of redemption story and i know you like your anime those sort of arcs that lead you back to fighting mm -hmm. that final boss once again but uh i don't know i, I feel like it's, it's gonna end in a, a pretty unfortunate manner because rooster although they may not necessarily have the chance to get to the major they do have a point to prove. They're, they're a team looking for an organization. There's rosters here, which they are arguably better than who have organizations. And if they can beat order out here, well, if, if you're looking at like maybe a team like Grand Zero, for example, who their, their roster just had some pretty unfortunate matches, didn't go their way, they might be looking for a few new players and the Roosters might be the ones to take their spot. Indeed, they could. And the thing is, like just touched upon, order are i mean they have way more to lose right apart from renegades they're the only other team like if they reach the finals like they're basically the only team who can potentially deny renegades that for that uh that major slot i mean assuming renegades wins all their other games against the other opponents like chiefs for example who have really stepped up so they have way more to lose getting knocked out here in the lower bracket so for order to potentially just to qualify for the majors they need to win this game they need to win the next game which is going to be against the the winner of the downfall and make a shark matchup then they have to beat the loser of the chiefs and renegades game so they need to win three best of threes back to back uh to potentially you know make it to the major so they have way more to lose and for rooster like i said they have nothing uh, at all apart from trying to make a point trying to prove a point that they are no longer going to be content being the fourth or maybe the fifth best team in the region that they can kind of deduke it out with the with the top two top three teams if not for renegades and order they've already shown today that they are mortal after all losing the chiefs yeah for sure and and the other thing as well is i i think a, a positive for roosters as well is the fact that sure the yeah they've already they've had a loss but it was a loss where they they put up some numbers versus renegades who are the team that everybody's gunning to beat the other thing as well is like a lot of the players that we've seen step up so far are not necessarily the the usual suspects, I guess you could say. Like the bit, I, I came into this like not knowing too much about this team and the way that they play. But obviously you've got the likes of Chelios, who is someone who has been highlighted to me at least as like the star of the team, maybe even the carry at times. He's been okay. It's been players like ASAP and Danny G who have really proven themselves to be like an absolute force to be reckoned with. And I'll be honest, if you can then get those two firing, plus get Chelios in to maybe match up against Alistair, this could be a banger of a match. This could be, and we're back again. We do have a little bit of some technical issues, a couple of the players uh, you know, kind of timing out. This, I, I love the way PGL inserted us into the maps. And I love it in Inferno, I like it in Dust too. But this feels a little depressing, like this particular insert. Right? It's like they're between two buses. They look pretty uh, abandoned, like run down. You can see a, a couple of palm trees at the background. I want to be sat behind apartment. bench. <gasps> Put us in the bench in mid, the new bench. We can just chill on the bench. That would be, that'd be dope. I, I know that I'm creating oh, more problems oh, for PGL than helping. No, how, but... how, how about top of mid? How about top of mid, right above the window? 
That'd be That's pretty That's not sick. very comfortable. I want to be on a bench. <laughs> you know what? Like, I need to a, relax, Flair. I work hard, you know? I sit here and talk about oh, video oh, games. Oh, oh. There, yes, Above that's the a window. good spot. No, that's Can you a good give me spot some right like fake legs to like hang off the edge? All right, the, now you're like really <laughs> testing PGL, but you know what? They've always delivered, and I would be surprised to see like a, I don't know a picture of you, an AR version of you, like maybe CT model with your face like smacked on top of it with his feet. You know what I really want? Top. What? I I want to to have the four of us like sat in party on overpass, like having a little like. A little, having a little like meal, like a little birthday party together. I think it'd be cute. <laughs> we haven't seen we haven't seen Overpass yet, but we have not. And we're not going to be seeing Overpass today either. But if you do see Overpass later on, Pichel, that's an idea. We can have all four of us. We can have the analysis desk or on the on swings. party. Uh, cool, fine. I, I, I have I, a fear I, of swings. I lost my first uh, when I was a kid. I lost my tooth to uh, flying off a swing. Yeah, but that that you're not supposed to fly off. Like that's how the swings work, Blair. Like that's that's a bit of an oversight from your part, if anything. That's like me going, oh, I have a, a fear of slides because I jumped off a slide onto my head. It's like, well, yeah, that that's my fault, not the slide. <laughs> you have a fear Listen. of doing doing something stupid. Is basically what you've just said. It wasn't stupid. It was fun. Have you ever like tried jumping off a swing while it's like? Yeah, have I have. You ever, I have you ever on done a 360 face. on a swing? Have you done a 360 <laughs> on a swing? Because I have. It's fun. But here we go. We're live. We have everyone in the server. No time being wasted. A four-man stack towards B and order. Well, they've gone for a gambled stack. I don't think it's going to work out. There are four players from the T side ready to strike, ready to pounce upon this A bomb set. And one player is there holding the line. It is, of course, the man with the beautiful golden hair. It is Alistair with his USP. For a second, I thought it was you still, but never mind. It is going to be... Yeah, Doesn't him alone, he has a singular smoke. But normally those are used for the retakes, and that seems to be the setup that they've currently got going on. The real worry for me now is Ricky. Like, he has gone probing in towards the back lines. The flank's going to be so fast, and he's going to drop the oh, bomb! No. This round might be over already. That was a smoke being lined up as well, and well, as you can see, it's not oh. landed, Ricky! has just ruined this round already for the Roosters. They had a plan, and this man has ruined it. Looking to try and even face a little bit more. He has got backup. Ustilo is going to come into play, and he'll drop another as they try and retrieve this bomb. And this round has turned from, well, a bomb objective map to a bomb retrieval map, as unfortunately everything has gone wrong. ASAP, the only one remaining. Nice little fade away. Okay. Those are a couple of tasty taps. But two more to find. If they play even slightly within a crossfire here, it should be nigh on impossible for him. But with a P250 Kevlar, the mini raid boss available, the best chance he has. They're not in a crossfire. The repeat's oh. close, and thankfully, you still owe. The impact player, as always, ends with a 3k. That was so very close. And just a tragedy that round, everything was working out perfectly for Rooster. But I do like what Ricky did there. This is something he does so often, right? T side, CD side, doesn't matter. Just the timing. Like, Danny didn't have a chance to just, you know, toss the smoke. It was such an important smoke as well. He was a bomb carrier too. We weren't probably expecting this aggression from Ricky. But yeah, imagine, like, he arrived there like five seconds a little too late. They would have got the, they would have got the bomb side. But valid effort from ASAP, though. He was the star for Rooster yesterday, and he's showing up here again. Yes, it wasn't a losing effort, but it's good to know that he still is the, looking pretty sharp. This is here. the plan, Blair. The, the plan is to lose the pistol, because they've still got yeah, they AKs. Never forget. Didn't get the bomb down, though. Didn't get the bomb down, though. They time. still have... Yeah, but the thing <gasps> is, the plan takes into consideration that they don't get the bomb plant, because they save an extra $800. So... It, it it's a bonus if they get the bomb plant, but they're still scary in this round. That nay, that nay was oh, so very painful. And bear in mind, ASAP, he has sacrificed everything. He was a guy who almost made it possible in the 1v4 with the P250 mini raid boss, but he sacrificed everything to drop this AK over to one of his teammates. And uh, Jira, Jira not expecting that play. And Danny Gangster, AK-47, he's going to do so much of work. And now it's going to come to Alistair again. And Chelios with the scout. And oh, wait, what? what? Chelios, what? I don't <laughs> even, like, why would he slash? Okay, that now. Slash. That was a stab in the back. That was spiteful. <laughs> I, I can't believe that? what's just happened. And he might have just thrown this round away as... 
Netic's already low. He's taken an AK for himself, I guess, but with the tag that's on his life, it could be a big problem. Netic goes down. Another one is left on to Chelios. It is that redemption story, and it's going to be him that lets it all slip. A huge oh. mistake from Chelios and Eustillo. Well, as you can see by his face, he's going to be laughing all the way to the bank. <laughs> Replay. I need to see what really happened there. He gets the kill, swaps to his knife, and I think he just goes for like a... Just a swipe. This was it's surprising though. I don't know how Danny's allowed to get that first couple of kills. Okay, let's see what happens here. Goes to the knife, takes the knife out. Wait, he turned and he shanked him in the back, Tom! <laughs> What if, what has his teammate done to him? Why would he do that? Like, who was that? Think, was that? I think we call that unreasonable. Is what we call that. <laughs> like, did he like, you know, I don't know. Has he like done something? Oh, ow, ow. Good night, Danny. Oh dear. Good night, oh, Chelios. We, we've witnessed this before. In fact, I think it was Order on the other end of this before when they were consistently forcing up off the back of a bomb plant. We've seen the same for Rooster. This isn't an eco. This isn't them saving their cash for the next round. This is a full investment. And well, thus far, it couldn't have gone much worse. That, that's also one of those games, especially for a, a team sort of renowned for the slightly puggier style. That's going to take any wind out of your sails. That'll be in the back of your mind, a round that we threw away by a silly mistake. Gonna have to try and keep the confidence high, ADC. Making this work, a dink also hit onto Alistair, who only has a scout available to him. It's more onto Valiance, who hasn't had the best tournament as of late, but he is going to be able to get one, at least keep things in their favor, at least for the moment. But Alistair's repeak is enough to hand them the site. The bomb will be planted, but they need to find better positions than this, Blair. This will be an awkward spot to fight from. Indeed, and Jaira, he spotted a player out. He knows there's a player near the bomb site. Now there's flank coming in from Ricky. I don't think they're going to be aware of, his, of this particular flank. He knows where one is, but the moment he gets spotted out, he's going to get to go for the face. He is completely unsure where the second player is, and the trigger discipline! The trigger discipline ADK, that is brilliant, but he oh, does not no. manage to convert the 1v2, and that is going to be another round going the way of order, but how close are these rounds? How very close are these rounds, Tom? And Rooster, they're going to buy up, 100%. They're going to buy up oh, again. Of course. It's the right decision to make. Like, they're keeping the economy so honest. Now, this round, in theory, there could be an AWP coming up. Well, we know this is going to be dirty. It's Alistair, and it's slowed down. That was a pretty nice kill as well, actually. You still are being killed through the balcony. It's this, though. It was such a nice attempt in the corner from ADC. Here we go. The AK's up again. Each buy getting better than the last, but until they win one, well, I guess it's worthless, Blair. Yeah, but at the same time, the, if they manage to convert this round, right, that's it. Money's going to be completely broken for the CD side. Absolutely just smack down. Look at the money. Three players on $50. Valiant, Valiant's on 250 Gyro, the only one who's a little rich and just 700 bucks to work with. The moment they win this round, it's just like breaking the economy but then again like you said as long as order keep winning the rounds doesn't matter if it's a 1v1s or 1v2s it's still going to be favoring them you know what we kind of had a split desk it was you favoring rooster we saw mitch as well and while jim was like uh he thinks order's going to win i'm going to put my money in on uh, on order i feel like yes it was a terrible nuke earlier we saw today it was also kind of like a very weird dust too in the end the final map but i feel like they should wake up like what the, the, the it must have lit they a have fire to. under their ass right now. Indeed, yeah. They have so much to lose here, and it's going to be Alistair. Oh! Doesn't land a flick, and Chelios just decapitates him through the wood. Now Valiance. He hasn't spotted out yet. He's going to find one. He's still helping out with the fragile zone. Valiance, he's so aware where the oh! player is, but ADK! Two quick headshots pre-firing around the corner, and suddenly, suddenly, they might have just broken the money here if they win this round. It's a 2v3, and Danny Gaston will fall. Leading it down to Stillo and Gyra to bring this one back as a bomb will get planted. Yeah, this is These are situations, though, that so far, Order have won every single one of them. Flashbang for Chelios. That is perfect. He knows, or I think he knows, the other man is around the corner and just opts not to fight it. Falls back and it's left all onto you, Stillo. You wouldn't want anyone else in these situations, but this time he can't convert. It's Chelios and ADK to give their first round onto the board. And more importantly, they have smashed Order's economy 
directly into the ground. Indeed, completely, utterly just destroyed right there. Oh, that was a crazy spray from Alistair, but look at this from ADK. One. Oh, he, well, it wasn't a full spray transfer. He started just pre-firing and just continuing that spray. It's a brilliant start from ADK. Chelios and ADK really looking good. And remember, the previous games for Rooster, it was Netic and ASAP. Who are the ones who are really stepping up? Now, if Chelios and ADK are going to be playing at this level here, and if Netic and ASAP can kind of... A recreate the level they showed earlier. This could get very, very scary. The Valiants will be spotted out. The Deagle putting in some damage, what? but it is going to be Ricky who's going to find three. Will make his escape as well. Gun picked up. Netic's going to be left alone as Alice is going to find one of his own. And suddenly, they have just been dismantled with the Deagles. Ricky, 4K for him, but he was so ably helped by the Valiants with a 2K, sorry, rather with a 2K I... assist. What? I think he got two with one bullet. Replay. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping there is one because I, I think one of these bullets, yeah, like yeah, <laughs> he spams them and two of them die to one bullet. That's gross. <laughs> oh, God. This is the thing I was going to say, though, just before this round began, is one of the things that basically gifted them the first map versus Chiefs was these anti-eco rounds. Like, they were so good with the pistols. And uh, we saw you still with the Deeks a couple of times when we brought it up in the interview as well. Like, what... Do we really think that that was the reason they won? And even Chiefs themselves said, well, no, we think we were the better team on Barrage. It was just a few silly plays like that that let things slip away. Now, we are seeing an investment back in once again from the Roosters. It's going to be a push from Valiance. He wanted that trade kill so badly instead. ADK, who I have to say has been an absolute hero so far for Roosters, has now put them back in the driver's seat for this round. I'm not a big fan of that from, uh, from Valiance. Like... If you're going to trade, you're going to trade immediately. By that time, there was enough time for ADK to kind of reset himself and be ready for the next duel for the peak. And now it's all in Alistair. He is all by his lonesome. Scout in hand as well. Doesn't have an AWP. And they're going to be peeking him together. He's got... Oh, oh no! The again. TK again from Netic this time around. It was kind of unfortunate because the tag did come in from Alistair. But Ricky and Gyro, they have the AK-47s, Tom. But this one's looking like a done affair. Netic's kind of low. But 4v2, do you really go for this i mean they might as well force by the next round but if you have this two ak 47s the force by the force by could be a little bit more useful but jaro's done for it ricky just going to be looking for the exits which i doubt rooster is going to present his way i really don't agree with that that reface i i i, I get it like in these sort of rounds you know that the next one's going to be rough anyway but why not give yourself the opportunity to try and set yourselves up with a couple of AKs rather than trying to retake a 2v4? Like, you would have needed an absolute miracle. And, well, for Jaira so far, no offense to him, not been having the best of games. So, to, to have the belief that you're just going to be able to pull that one back is somewhat insane. But, yeah, this, this was the thing. I, I think the main reason Valiance goes for this is because he hears the gun being switched, but he was still too late. That is, well, if, if anything, it's a worthy sacrifice, I think is what we can call that. And uh, it's actually going to damage ADK's stats a bit, which considering he is 11, I think, was it 11, 4, 11, and 5? That's ridiculous. Like, his stats have been slightly reduced. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, oh, the flash is perfection. Danny Gangster. He's going to have no trouble with that. And the problem here is, um, it, this was a buy. This was a buy that nades yeah. going to find Jaro. One HP. How is he even alive? He's blinded. He's getting naded. And finally, ADK will put him out of his misery. I don't know why he's put ADC in his uh, Steam name, but it is ADK. And Alistair, Maybe he doesn't care. A, don't care. <laughs> I never said his English was good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alistair with a nice deke shot. So uh, kind of like a parting, parting shot over to Rooster. But what's yeah, his good... first name? Is it like Andrew or something? <clears throat> oh, no, it is. It's it's a cram. So maybe it's a cram doesn't know and a cram doesn't care. There you go. I hate you. Ha! ha! My, my joke continued just because of his name. <laughs> you know what? I really hope you get to cast a Mako game tomorrow and you can try and pronounce uh, good old uh, Calamari. 
ADK is Akram, Akram Smither. That's a that's a, a Middle Eastern name. Hmm. Makes sense though, the A over there. But a DK, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it, leave it there. Anyway, <laughs> four three, and the force by not panning out for order means they will have to just make do with the USPs, and this should be a, a pretty comfortable run for Rooster here. And, and uh, in all honesty, Thomas, really, ooh, nice spray from ASAP, cleaning them up ASAP, and uh, about to clear out. Yeah. Uh, speaking about like the first four rounds as well, if you look at the way Auto got that 4-0, it was off the back of a couple of small little mistakes from Rooster. It was some great timing going the way the pistol round, for example, comes to mind. It was some hero play, some clutches. But the rounds Rooster have won, they've looked way more convincing. I guess at the bar, well, they, they were dirty rounds. I guess is the best way to put it. We, we say clean rounds. I guess that would be the opposite. It doesn't quite sound right, rolling off the tongue, but. Mm -hmm. It, it, it's one of those things like they, they were rough i think is the best way to put it like they were in awkward positions just about scraping it through and we knew that if the second they lost one that was it and then they managed to win a force buy off the back of ricky's huge deagle plays they get their economy back and then they lose the next one anyway so it, it's a bit of a, a rough position for them now and rooster i i dare i say it so far, I think they have looked like the better team. Like, if you're having to win a lot of things off of clutches and like awkward individual plays, or even just as you said, timing, and then the other team gets a stride and they win things cleanly. Like, look at the money for Rooster right now: eight thousand two hundred, seven four hundred, eight two fifty. Like, they are in yep. a very good position on the T side. And even in this round, we're still seeing a few things having to go amiss for order because their money's not in the best of places. Indeed, and uh, here we go. Oh, it's a fast play towards A. It's Love a contact it. play in Valiance. He's like, oh, oh I got to get out of here. The name might be a little bit too late as well. He might be caught out in the open. Luckily, he will survive, but not Alistair. ASAP and Chelios, the one to one will combo. That's it. The round's done. Look at the flank coming in all the way from B as well. Ricky comes into Murder Hole, and, and Murder Hole lives up to its name. But Valiance Ooh. with the two quick kills. Now it's okay. possible because there is a flank coming in all the way from Palace. Now, Valiance, he needs to stay alive by this time. And he's doing a pretty good job here, but time is of the essence. 25 seconds on the clock. They do not have a kit to work with. I don't even think there's anyone he can kill. That's the problem. They're, they're, like, he's got this flank, but they're all in really passive hidden positions. Like, these afterplants are almost rude. Like, there's nothing that can really be done, and this flank is just dirty from Daddy G. And he seems to be the player who, he, like, in, in consideration with, like, someone like a Dexter or even in Azza, where it's like, you never really know where they're going to be on the map. I think Azza is actually one of my favorite players to watch in the world on Mirage, because mm -hmm. somehow he manages to get behind you almost every single time. And, and it, it must be so infuriating to play against. And he also just has that sheer, like, brute force mentality where every once in a while, when the side of 100 Thieves needs, needs a round, he'll just win one for them, which I, I still don't quite know how he does it, but <laughs> I guess that's why he's up there. In, in one of the top teams. But right now, yeah, we're, we're sh seeing almost Roosters just style on their opponents. Like, this is now a five-round streak. Or no, four-round streak, I guess, because they won one and then lost one. And they've been clean. Oh, they have indeed. And again, like... Oh, oh. Jelly. Okay. Uh, still recovers, helped out by ASAP. But th th that's the thing. Like, they're, they're forcing Order to play to their team. They are not reacting. They are just kind of like, and again, I know it's Roos' map pick. It is a map that they're very comfortable on. However, it, at the same time, like, it, it's order, right? They're the top three team in the region. And Rooster is just making it making them look so easy. They know there's another play around Jara. There's nothing you can do. Netic will clothesline him. The good thing for order is they have a buy coming in. But my oh my, Rooster, five and And the money is spiraling out of control, Tom. We still have five more rounds remaining. And there are four players we're around the ten thousand dollar mark, and eighty k sitting on twelve k as well. I am more more impressively is it twelve k maybe a lot, but fifteen kills is how many he has. It's a it's been a lights out performance from him so far, and there's been no one that's been close to his level on the server so far. So this is where we need to see some of those big names that we talk about, the likes of Ustilla, the likes of. Alistair and while well, Ricky now picking up the second AWP, he's going to be tested almost instantly. A change of pace, a change of strategy, and they've been met with an AWP. 
They have it, Ricky. Some snappy shots coming out from the veteran. Danny G will drop him, however. And now Jaira, what can he do to try and stay alive? Nothing. Okay. Chelio spots him on the top of the smoke. How does he even see him? I don't know. But it's a 2v3 as Alistair does reply back. He finds Chelios. Bomb needs to go down, and Danny G has got to retrieve the bomb. He's going to use the flashbang to try and make his escape. Can he escape? The no, he can't. The bomb at least will get planted. Alice is aware of the bomb plan. The Malta is going to be coming in a little too late. And now Danny G repositioning himself. Can he get this kill is the question on the player. Get spotted out, oh, oh, but Daddy still gets a kill. Goes through his race through the smoke, almost finds Alistair, and somehow he single-handedly turned it around. And they haven't even spotted his teammate yet. ASAP has picked off another. It's left into the one versus one. Alistair to try and save them here. The time is ticking, and he actually doesn't have a kit, so he may need to find one. It's lying just on the floor, and he's got it. Just about. It's going to be enough for him to take this round home. Oh. Dear Lord, was that close. But luckily, Alistair did not miss. But again, again, Tom, right? Like, they win the round, but at what cost? They again have no money over here. Like, you're still looking to buy for himself. The rest of them, it's going to be for masses. Sure, Alistair can drop a rifle over to one of his teammates. Maybe an M4. There we go. M4 will be purchased and dropped over towards Gyra. But after this purchase, they're going to be broke again. And Rooster, like I mentioned earlier, money for days. If they win this round, I wouldn't be too surprised for them to run away with this half. Maybe a 9-6, maybe a 10-5. Yeah, this is scary times for order. As I said, when we came into this tournament, we had a, a clear one-two of who we expected. And I think Rooster definitely came in as someone, at least to me, as a bit of an unknown factor. I uh, wasn't particularly impressed when I watched them play Mako Shark in, in a, the day before, but they have brought a different level like coming into this tournament. And they impressed us versus Renegades. Now they're looking like the out-and-out -out better team you still is already going to be tagged up by the AWP. Not the greatest of starts. Now, they do have a reasonable amount of utility to at least try and deny, and I like this. Alistair is now going to try and be a bit spicy. He's the solo b site holder as he looks to try and aggress a bit more to try and basically plug the gaps that is this CT side by. Yeah, they need to mix something up here. Like, these defaults aren't really working out. Even when time they aggress, it's not great. Nice peak from Valiance. Perfect flashbang as well, but Netic with a quick reply. And ADK, this guy is just a bottle opener. Finds another kill on his A-bomb set. Ricky needs help. Flashbang is good, but at the same time, I, I think he got blinded by the T's flashes, but it's still low with a quick kill. Another one, and now it's a 2v2. Almost everyone very low, and Ricky... He is going to be the linchpin of this round for order. But I think Chelios is aware of his position. And Chelios is walking up here. Scoped in hard, scoped in. And he's done for. And this is a 1v2 that almost looks unwinnable for ID or ADK. 24 HP and he's being flanked. This is a really good reposition from Eustillo. Again, experience taking its toll. But it's not going to be needed at all. Now, that, that round is one where... I, I'm going to be honest, Blair, I was surprised that was even close, mainly because that was a four-man stack on the A site and Rooster go walking in. So it, it's still not as clean as Order probably would have liked, but they do adapt. They've changed up their setup, and now the Ts, where well, they've still got that bank to play with, but if, if the CTs could even get a couple more rounds, I think they're going to be relatively happy considering how this half has actually gone. Considering how much time they had there, I'm surprised they went for the bomb plant. Especially with the smokes dissipating, the fact that they knew there was going to be a CT playing close to its connector. Uh, yeah, that, that was a little strange. But, 6-all, still neck to neck, both these, both these teams. And for Rooster, again, I mean, Tom, just, they can just keep buying forever by the looks of things. Yeah, they, they get the bomb down so often. It, it's happening most rounds, if not every. And the ones that they don't, are still desperately close. Like, Order have not managed to keep anything clean. That's one hell of a start, though. ASAP is gone. Mid control, technically in the hands of Rooster. I'm, I'm not liking the fact that we're seeing the bomb all the way down in spawn at the moment. So they are going to have to go on a retrieval mission. And with how aggressive we've seen some of these rounds from Order, it's definitely a risk leaving it behind. But now, though... They might, they might try and gamble back towards the A site. Now, that, that one round of a four-man stack has dispersed and left the more standard two with a, a rotator available from mid. Alistair as well at the backside with the AWP has not been having the best of games. Him and 
Valiant struggling a little bit. We're going to see the flash over. He's set up with the orb, but he's not going to win the duel. Chelios takes him down once again. There has been a rotation back. You still are trying to watch the cross as Valiant just sits upon the balcony. But there are multiple players now coming in from behind. Ja Danny G's found one. Netic combines alongside him to open up this A site. And with the Molotovs down, there's nothing the remaining CTs can do but wait for the retake. Yeah, this is brilliant stuff from Rooster. A very uncharacteristic mistake being made by Alistair there. He shouldn't have re-peaked, especially when he knew there was going to be uh, an AWP peaking him. The flashbang came out. It, it should have been an easy tell for someone of his of his caliber. And now the retake coming in, but Chelios <laughs> is missing. Nothing, you know, with the final player as well. Natic is going to decapitate Chiron with that rooster. That was a clinical round. I love it. 4v5, man down, and the way they just hit that bomb set. Yes, a little bit of a mistake from Alistair, but apart from that, it was just clean. And with that, Tom, money for, uh, for order. Non-existent yeah. again. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. It's lucky not to get two, really. The, the thing that's impressive as well, this was something I mentioned at the very beginning of the game. I said that we've seen them play well without Chelios. Now he's starting to come up big and, and they are looking far and above the better side. As I said, like, I feel like a lot of these rounds have been somewhat padded. The pistols though, the SMGs, this is sometimes where Order can make rounds out of nothing. Oh, they've still lost the initial jewels, but Jaira will be able to at least retrieve a rifle. It's something extra for him in this round. Bomb again, still just sat towards the spawn as they're almost just playing this pick style of play. As individually, Rooster, I've no doubt, have been the better squad. Illo, though, look how low Netic is. Oh, he's been sent on the mission to get the bomb. If he dies, this whole round could be turned on its head, and that's exactly what happens. Eustillo does not miss that shot. That's an AK for him as well. Now, he doesn't have any armor, so it might be a little bit awkward, but they are going to have to go falling all the way back. ASAP, though, he's going to be the surprise. There's no way they'll expect him to be here. Jaira just wanted to try and help out his teammate. Eustillo trying his best to defend that bomb. He does manage to find a kill on almost the second. He hasn't spotted where his opponent's gone, though. Sneaking his way through the smoke. Bomb has been taken. I don't think he's going to be able to get away unless, of course, there's a peek out from Eustillo, which he is going to go running through the Molotov. It's a huge risk, but it pays off. And I don't know how this man does it. SMG, rifle, make it a deeg. But Eustillo is still that thorn in your side. He didn't have any armor, Tom. No arm and it still wins it. And they're going to double peek him together. Have to. And there we go. Brilliant start from Eustillo. In fact, Alistair doesn't even have to do anything. Still a single-handedly, one deagle in his hand, no utility, no Kevlar, no helmet, and he wins it alone. That was a round that Rooster might come to regret. I mean, this push was, was great, but then this one. He gets to kill. The second one, I'm not too sure why the AWP would face up there, but then the spray transfer through the, through the smoke, ADK not expecting him to push out through the flames, and then a double peak coming out. Just well played by order. It's kind of crazy that we're saying that Rooster individually, they're looking like the better team. It's crazy. And the only anomaly being uh, Yastilla, who is just, he's just so consistently good. Oh. Should be a free kill. He's actually going to use a Molotov. This is just me. <laughs> that, was a, that was a little bit sadistic. Just like, oh, I'll just burn them out. As they try and go for the boost. It doesn't get a kill for it, but uh, that's definitely going to scare them. Danny G's still going to be the one to start. It, it is amazing this is 7-7. You have to remember that Order got off to a strong start with the pistol. They have then won two rounds off of Deacons. And they are currently tying, maybe even losing this first half. That is a ridiculous thing to be saying. Like They have upset so many rounds and they have capitalized off Basically, none of them. ASAP again is finally going to put down the terror that is you still over Alistair alongside Ricky. The double orbs is all that remain. Once this bomb goes down, things are going to get tough, and I think Alistair realizes it, but he won't win the battle versus ADK. And Natic is going to put down the final man. It is 8 7, but if anything, it could have been a whole lot more for the Roosters. Order, they're clinging on at this point. Yeah, and eight rounds on the T side of Mirage. I mean, I'll take it. If I'm Ruth, I'm taking it. And also, 
it's kind of interesting for me that it's the veterans in the side of order who've been able to kind of go toe to toe when it comes to just individuals, yeah. right? It's a, it's a Ricky and Estella while you're looking at at the Alistairs or at Valiants at Gyra to step it up. It's been the two veterans who've been kind of keeping them in the game so far. Barely though, like I said, eight seven, just seven rounds on the CD side, a map like Mirage, which you should be feeling more comfortable with. Suddenly, uh, this matchup is looking even more scarier for the for the side of water. Oh, pistol round gonna be everything. Uh, a nigh on identical one with a few more personnel here. ADK, 17 kills in that first half. He may need a couple more here. He's got Netic to support him, but this is becoming awkward fairly fast. He does manage to get the first kill, but the bomb has gone down. They're now going to wait for the retake as ASAP comes in through the connector, and Chelios already picks off one more nice shot from Alistair, though. He's cleared out CT, at least for the moment, as the rotation still comes in. And look at this wraparound from Ricky. I don't know if he'll have the time to go all the way back into middle as his teammate's going to have to burn down that clock. I think he's realized it as well. Ricky left. 1v4. He did this oh. with a deagle earlier, but it isn't going to happen again. A superb retake for the Roosters, but just like them in their second round, the chances are we will see a force by for order. ASAP is... is he's really really good with the pistols man like that 1v4 almost converting it again with a usp here and if you just look at the we should probably take a look at the scoreboard later on and the one thing which stands out to me is gyros having a rough rough okay that drive by from alice is sick but asap man he's just tapping heads and individually like you said on an average everyone on the side of rooster seemed to be playing at a very high level while on the on the other hand for order like gyros and two kills tom I mean, I don't want to, I hate pointing out a single player, but they're just not working out for them. And look at the balls on ASAP and Natic, the aggression. They know it's a buy coming out from order, and they meet it head to head. I, I think it, it's one of those like memes where it's like, oh, when God was creating this, and it's like when, when, he, when he went to put in a dash of fear, he must have just missed the ball because. Rooster just they have none. There's there's none in there at all. Confidence, well, that's where the ball's overflowing. As you can see, Chelios, even with a man advantage, is just gonna go peeking. That might be a bit of an oversight. Mistake a few. And well, it's still gonna be a 3v3, which they are favored. But that's an uncomfortable loss that could become awkward later in the round. They've uh, they've tossed the smoke to its connector. But they're all going to be falling back. The problem here for the T's are they have one flashback to work with. Valiance has no Kevlar. Alistair is the only one with the AK, Kevlar, and everything. And there is just one player in this B bomb site. And Danny G, he's feeling a little adventurous. This could actually potentially net them the run unless he falls on back. It's all about timing. With 35 seconds on the clock, he's going to be heading back towards his B bomb site. Now, he needs at least one kill here, because if he doesn't, if he gets taken down and they get the bomb down, this round could very well go the way of, uh, of order, primarily because of the fact that Alistair is still alive. Even, even a 2v2 could be a, a rough retake of what's currently in play. Now, he spotted everybody. Now, they've realized where he is, and this becomes a bit more awkward for the remaining players. Oh. Nice shot from Alistair as well. Well, you said at least one. He gets absolutely nothing. <laughs> Luckily... Netic is very quick to respond, but getting out this window might be easier said than done. Alistair's going to go spotting and finds the information that no one's making that move just yet. They don't have a kit available to them either, and a quick tap to remove one leaves it all onto the one versus two. He's been good so far, but time is of the essence, and ADK has to fall back. It is going to be an eighth for order, and as said, those four spy rounds, well, they work for the Roosters, but they work for order just as well. Personally, I mean, I don't really want to blame Danny G there. But personally, when you have two of your teammates towards CD spawn holding towards A, you want to play a little bit more of a secluded position where you can be guaranteed at least one kill. The fact that he got taken down, again, great shot from, from Alistair, but the fact that he got taken down, that was already like, you know, Rooster basically losing the round right there. And then Alistair, man, like this man. Sure, he's out of quiet first half, that op not being very effective, but he's still always so, so impactful with the frags that he does manage to get. And yeah, Rooster to win a pistol it convincingly, but order this strike back. And with that, it is going to be another force by This time around, it's for Rooster. And honestly, at this point, Tom, 
I'm not surprised anymore. No, they 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 don't like ecoing. But to be honest, most of the times they've gone for these four spies. I I don't disagree with them. Like, I I think most of them have been fair. It's not like they've been over audacious with some of the purchases where their opponent's economy was fine and they were trying to break it. No, most of the time there was low money on the side of order and they wanted to break it. And well, in that first half they did. I, I think if they had better anti eco rounds, they would be they would be in double digits as a minimum at this point of the game. So. As said, order, they've saved themselves a few times in that first half. Now we need to see them build into this matchup already. Chelios going for the peak. There's so many players there. Uh, peeking into that four-man stack at the top of mid is not something I expected him to, to survive. You still have as well in the smoke. Free kill onto one. He spotted the second. Sure, it's Mr. ADK, but that doesn't matter. The B site's fully under the control, and this fake has been sold. Well, more, more of just a take than a fake, if anything. But it's still going to be 9-9. Nine, nine. I don't think there's anything the Roosters can do about that. Yeah, the best you can hope for right now is ADK saving that M4 of his, but it's still low. He's still, he's still floating around. He's still roaming around the T-spot in the area. He's like, yeah, all right, cool. You know where I am. I know where you are. You're trapped. You're going you're gonna to want to save your M4. Where are you going to go? Are you going to stay in the A bomb site? That's risky. You might come up towards Palace, and guess who's going to be waiting? It's going to be me, and it's still low. He should potentially win this duel. The angle, it's a little <laughs> off from ADK, and unfortunately, he won't survive. But at least that's a that's a Galil. I mean, it's not an AK, it's not an M4, but it's something, considering the money that Rooster have to work with. And with order, winning this round, they put themselves in a pretty good spot here to at least get to round number 10 before Rooster does. Yeah, and, and it's a, at least keeping three players alive means that they've made a little bit of money along the way. This round is where we, we want to see it be dominant, really, from order. Like, to to at least see what we expect to be the best from them. Because there, there's no point... Like, we spoke partly about maybe they were saving some strats in the game they played earlier. Which, I'm going to be honest, I think it's BS. I, 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 I think if you're saving strats when you're losing, you're mental. In this case, they can't. There's nothing to save for. If you lose this series, you're out of the tournament. You don't get to the major. There's no chance of it. Uh, it will go probably to Renegades, in fact, because they are the only team that can beat them at this point. Even the, the third place team currently, obviously it won't be by the end, uh, Ground Zero are now out of the tournament as well. So the only teams with any points currently are Order and, of course, the Renegades, who are currently 100 points ahead. So if Order go out, that's it. We, we pretty much have our, our answer, as I think at this point, a top four finish is already guaranteed for the Renegades. Yeah, and the top four finish means, well, doesn't matter where they where they wind yeah, up. Exactly. It's, uh, it, yeah, I think how many points do I have? Like 1,600? They think? have 1,600, and I think the max you can yeah. get is 2,400, and the lowest you get from top four is 2,000. So there's literally yeah. no way anybody could even be close. Which is, uh, actually, no, don't Chiefs have some points? No, because they changed three members, so they lost all their points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the X. Well, it do be like that sometimes. As 35 seconds, son. This is looking... Oh, this is looking scary. Walking into a stack. Tom. Oh, and ASAP's that? alive. He's got to find sick. two. 25 seconds. He spots a second player as well. He's picked up a gun. Both of them are together. He's tapping away. Alice is going to finally drop him. But Netic's position. They have no idea. Or do they? They're going to make a run for it. They're going <laughs> to leg it towards an A-bomb side. But no, they're still sticking. Oh, what a snap from Netic. And Alice is still finding him. What? And Netic with the clutch. Why did he go back and commit? I don't know. But they realized they didn't no have time, any time. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. 10 seconds. Not good enough. And what a round. What a round from Netic and again from ASAP. These youngsters, man. And uh, order, they took too long. They took so long walking into the trap. They get the first three kills. But then ASAP and Netic, the two youngsters who were the hard carry for this team in the previous matchups we've seen. And finally, they've woken up and they're joining their uh, Danny G and ADK. Yeah, both 17 years of age as well. So to, to keep their That's cool nuts. in that situation, like I sweat bullets in those situations, my heart thumping. For them to just be like casually tap, tap, easy kills, like that is sick. Average That's HP nuts. left at the end of the round. This is a 10-9 game. 
it really shows how much damage is being done though it firstly for both sides but more importantly like if you're at 58 that means every, every well pretty much every round they have less than one player surviving by a hefty margin <laughs> yeah and on top of that like, that's that's more than double for rooster is showing that when order have won their rounds it's come down to the 1v1s uh, the 1v2s while well, for rooster it's been some very convincing wins, and with that particular win, they have all the money, all the guns in the world to work with. That nade is gonna hurt, and it's gonna be Danny G falling back smartly. And a crossfire kind of set up, and ASAP is just gonna mow them down and jumping him straight to the deaths. Three kills for him. Finally, Ricky will put him down. There's nothing much he can do as Danny G joins very the fray. Nice. Clean stuff. Yeah, this is exactly what we want to be seeing from the Roosters. I, I, I think they really are proving themselves to be a force to be reckoned with, no matter what happens within this series. At the same time, though, I, 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 I see. I don't want to keep putting the like caveat of that. I don't think Order are playing to their level, but I, I genuinely don't think they are. Like, well, you, you mentioned you don't want to highlight J Jira, but he's still on two kills. Like, it's not changed. Like, he's having probably one of his worst performances ever. In this game which it, it's an unfortunate time to have it very aggressive peak from cellos he actually doesn't get the kill and i think did netic just take the bullet for him because it looked like that was a fade away from the connector from him as well so it's it's a bit of a rough one we'll see if maybe he can be the saving grace in this round of course their money it's not off the chart so to lose a round here would still be a pretty painful loss for the side of roosters it would and I, I I gotta say, like like you mentioned, they're not playing at the level, but this is a must-win game. Like this is a must-win game. You have everything on the line, and if you're gonna not gonna be playing at a level at this point, well, this is your level then, right? This has to be a level. But hold on, look at Asilo's position. Look at where he is. He snuck his way through. They left jungle open, and Jealous is done for. Oh, don't don't do no 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 no. Asilo, don't do it. Don't do it. He's looking for two. He's looking for two. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was a jump scare. Dear oh. Lord, that's terrified. Uh, does he know that there's a man on ramp? Because this could be a problem. I think he doesn't. That's a free kill. Nice trade from Ricky, though. That was necessary. Anything less could be a problem. Alistair. Oh, he's missed the window. I think he's given the info over to Ricky, though. This is really good team play coming out from the side of order. Finally, something to really be positive about. That was a nice little clutch situation. Everybody played their role to perfection. And Ricky in the end again coming out on top. Ricky has been absolutely so instrumental. And in, yeah, in order being even being in this game, it's been Isolo and, and and Ricky. Sure, Isolo got just a one kill over there, but the the fact that he was able to sneak his way all the way from CD spawn to get the frag onto Chelios, that itself was massive and that just opened up that A bomb site. Ricky obviously with a quick trade, finishing it off with the three K in the end there, but this has been one of, if not the most closely contested maps we've seen so far in the entire tournament. Now you're still a, again. It'd be one hell of a time to rise up to the occasion. Said so this is an elimination match, maybe not one that we expected to see. It could easily have been a, an upper bracket matchup. Obviously, the seeding of Rooster may maybe a little bit harsh because of their their in, well not being an invite team. I think they're definitely well they've proven themselves to be better, but than Ground Zero already. Danny G is going to get aggressive. If he gets a kill, falls back. This is absolutely fine. Anything else? Oh, that's rough. Timing not going to work out for him. He's given some information over to his squad, but the thing is, it might be a false positive. Because I think he'll assume that they might rotate in his direction. Instead, the bomb's actually going towards A. Well, two players lying in wait. And it's going to come down to Chelius with the AWP. ADK, though, 5 7 in hand, but this man can do no wrong. He's been absolutely fantastic, but they're heading towards B. Is the rotation going to take place as Danny shuts it down, but he doesn't spot anyone else. They don't have to rotate, oh and the timing God. on that from ADK spins around. Oh, hi, Ricky. Good night. 
Alistair left alone now with Valiance trapped behind the flames and Alistair doing a bit of damage. 10 seconds. You got to go for the save there, lads. And it is going to be Rooster 12 rounds. They're going to extend their lead by two rounds now. I, I, like, I hate that 5-7 shot. It made me feel ill. <laughs> Just instant one time. We've seen them do that a couple of times now. I do really think that the 5.7 is one of those guns that's just heavily underrated within Counter-Strike. Like, it, 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 like, the fact that at the moment there still seems to be the question between that and the CZ, but you could do things like that, is, is just grotesque to me. But, yeah, it, 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 that was just horrible. And we've seen them do that now a couple of times. I, uh, the same happened on B not too long ago. So, they have big rounds coming out from the Rooster. I have to give credit over to... Danny G as well. The, the timing of that double spray down, he got molotov out, but peaked just before it landed so that they weren't quite ready for someone to already be facing in that direction. So just smart play. We've got a drone flying in to give us some stats. I think that the drone should also be edited to have Mitch's face on it, but, you know, oh, that's, <laughs> maybe that's just me. I'll have him, like, Mitch. on strings, like, flying around on the drone. Mitchy, Mitchy muck, muck drone face? Like, I can live with that. <laughs> The utility file, Ricky, he has been, he alongside his Tillo have been the uh, the two pillars of this uh, order side. They have been... If he's the utility man, what is anyone else doing? <laughs> Dying. <laughs> oh. Danny. What? Danny. What? Oh, I oh thought he was going to get God. that kill for a moment. That would have been ridiculous. Oh, Lord. This is a heavy investment for Oda, but if there if there was a time for them to go for a buy like this, now is the time. Because any any more later, they can't do it, right? Because Roost is going to be almost a map and match point. But this is a huge kill. Worrying factor, there's no one in jungle. ADK, the two players now. So even if he gets a kill, the trade's possible again. Again, they're going to allow a player to sneak their way through from C. Oh my God! If I'm Chelios, I'm molding. If he die, if he dies again like this. I'm so been too quiet. Oh, oh, I get. Why is it always so awkward? Make it clean. It makes my cheeks clench every time that happens. How? How? Oh my oh. God! Stop! Stop! I don't want to see duels like that. I don't want to see stuff like that. Please. Save. Oh dear lord. Yeah. You got where's, no money. Where's ASAP going? Things in this round looking a little bit rocky and well. Two versus five. Not happening. It will be an 11th. That round could have easily gone either way, though. Like, that's now the second time that Ustillo has got behind them. That's an issue. Uh, that shouldn't be happening. Uh, also, yeah, the, the sort of dodgy battle that occurred. Netic, he's going to try and get himself a rifle. I don't think that's worth going for. Yeah, it wasn't. And with that, auto, a, a, a buy where they had like two rifles, two and a half rifles, I think. Two players, at least with pistols for sure. And they make it work. Again, a, a, a terrible hold from Rooster. We've been singing the praises, but that was just abysmal. Like, you know for a fact that they go for these fast boosts up towards mid. And I don't know why Danny would just come into the fight. He knew, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Danny, why would he come into that fight? He knew Valance was there. He could have caught some backup before just going for the full commit. And of course, that's been around kill. That was just pure fill from Alistair. You can't just give up jungle like that, guys. If you're going to give it up, keep someone behind Motorhole. Like, I don't know. If you're going to play passive, play ultra passive, not this way. And Chelios looking for the fight, but Alistair with the. Uh, well, the flash assist from uh, from the CT is actually getting the kill. And that's the danger man taken out. And I gotta say, Tom, we, we've sung Chelios' praises a lot for based on his performances in the past. I mean, he was the one standout player who came up on my radar at least a year and a half ago. And everyone's like, this Chelios guy is pretty good. And he was, very, and he is very good. But so far in the tournament, it's like everyone else is playing at a, at a great level while he yeah he has his moments but i would like to see a little bit more consistency from someone who is touted to be you know the the best player on this lineup and and with fair reason he is very very good it's just not he's not performing the level we're expecting from him well as of right now i'm fairly certain he's done nothing on the ct side but like he i think he had between 10 maybe even 11 kills it, it was oh definitely God. 10 on the first half He's done nothing since. Oh, see you later, Danny. Uh, just a, a little bit of a pixel spotted by Ustillo, and that's enough for him to work things out.
calculation made in his brain and well good luck asap you've been fantastic but this may be a bridge too far first kill goes his way he's got an incendiary peeks back no. out it's a bit awkward he has to be careful of his own molotov spreading towards him but he's actually done further damage he's bought time for the rotation as well just left with the usp in hand and that will eventually be his demise but he's given a chance granted a very slim one as now ADK is going to try and slip his way sneakily through the smoke. One being planted. He knows he needs to find the other player first. Tries to deny it. And, well, although there's some low players, it is going to be 12-12. Order have come back kicking at the perfect time. And now look at the money for Roosters, Blair. This is the worst possible time to run out of cash. It's a terrible time to go out of cash. As we do see... Ricky. Oh, okay. My screen seems to have got stuck a little bit there, Tom. I don't know if it's working for you. It is fine for me. All right, it's working fine. We're back. We're back. But okay. yeah, uh, but uh, you know what? I'd rather them run out of money right now compared to, let's say, around later or like when order and round True. 14, right? So 12-12, it's fine. Go for a full eco, which I appreciate here. Just the USBs. And uh, <laughs> it should be a clean affair for order. They have... It hit the dink. Yeah, he did get the thing. But they're going to have a buy. They're going to have a pretty decent oh. buy the next round. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Might as well have let that one go off in his pocket. I don't think it could have been much closer than that. Well, it is going to be a 13th for order. Very, very close matchup. And, well, something we somewhat expected. And both teams in the past have been winning... Their opponent's map choice but maybe not quite in this close a fashion ricky just looking to try and pad those stats not that he needs it as said he has been one of the shining lights for this order roster and it's good to see because it's very easy to sing the praises oh okay of some of the other players within the team especially with some of the performances we've seen from him so far but the fact that when they needed him most is when he stepped up to the plate is is very very good sign for order Yeah, indeed it is. And for Netic, well, if it's is AK, it's going to be it's going to come in pretty handy. Uh, can maybe drop it towards, I don't know, maybe towards ADK. He's got the least amount of cash. Or maybe Chelios probably. They can drop him in AWP, can either ASAP or Netic, but that means they're going to be naked. They're not going to have any Kevlar to work with. So they're going to have to just make do with the rifles this time around. But yeah, this game has just been so back and forth, Tom. I just want to take a look at how the... What? Uh, what? What the? Did it time out? Two players died to the bomb. I mean, no, they're there. They got money. They don't care, Tom. That's not an excuse. That's ridiculous. <laughs> How did that? Wait, what? Oh, they were all just in the ladder room. I guess they thought that the damage drop off was a lot higher from there. But did they plan for default? Maybe they were. Uh, I don't know. I don't usually save in the ladder room. Usually I head towards like CD spawner or like head straight towards the apartment. But anyway, here we go. Buy coming in. And a fast hit from order straight into the B bombs. I threw short. It's going to be the pincer player ASAP. Oh, he just turns the corner and a bullet kisses him. Good night. Danny Gangster finds one, but Alistair, he's going to find one. Valiance catches Danny off guard. And again, it's a 2v3 speed. Fast-paced hit towards his B-bombs, and it's working out wonderfully for the side of order. And this is going to be terrible. Valence is ready and waiting. Oh, he okay. finds both of them. My word. I want to see that from his POV. But order, I think they've had enough, Tom. They want to close this one out. Yeah, this would be a hell of a map to win as well. As mentioned, I, I, I think for Jara as well, this has probably been one of his worst performances ever. So if they manage to get this map over the line, that would be huge for them, especially going into their own choice coming up next. It's been ridiculously close, but it seems like Rooster might have fallen at the final hurdle. The morning wake-up call is coming. Chelios. Okay, that's a bit of a, a hefty tag. ADC uh. trying to come up as well with Netic alongside him. They've managed to at least give themselves the man advantage here. Of course, the weaponry firmly in the favor of their opponents, but... We've seen both teams now win rounds like this. Now, ASAP 
this is a heavy risk. I know that they're in a round where they're heavy underdogs, but you already have the man advantage. If it pays off, you're a genius. If it goes wrong, well, you might have just given up the match. Oh, no. We know, Tom. You heard them. They sell the fake and go back. Oh, they do fall back. And unfortunately, ASAP caught off guard. Oh, that, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Oh, no. It, it seems like after such a good start to this round, everything has started to slip away. Now, Danny G, he has got multi-frags from this position already multiple times. If it happens again, I'm going to be upset. And it, oh, it's almost two. He gets one with a little bit of help from Valiance. Chelios has already rotated in. You can see that for Valiance, he's now just waiting for his teammate, but the support from Netic is already coming as well. 28 seconds on the clock. They're going to have to try and dedicate themselves into this site, and the flashbang comes through. He may be able to catch the second player with the AWP as well, which is exactly what happens, and leaves Valiance to try and clutch this out. He's had a real resurgence over the last couple of rounds, but he has to eventually go for this plant. He wants to kill off one of these players before that point, and he's not going to. Lightning fast from Chelios gives a 13 rounds to Rooster, and they cling to life to clock one more time. Man, Chelios, he, he, he misses the easy ones. He goes to the weird, strange plays. But when it comes down to these sort of moments, when he needs to hit these ridiculous shots up close, like like just basically, you know, in your face, no scope opening, he just seems to shine there when, you know, it, it's just like, yeah, there's no way he's going to hit this one. Of course he does. And we thought it was over, Tom. We thought Order we're going to get a map point. It was going to be 15 to 12, and Rooster were like, yeah, no. An SMG, three pistols, and the hero AWP in the hands of Mr. Chelios. And they bring it to round number 13. This one's not quite done yet. Wind. They can out their sails a bit. We saw how the fast-paced blast onto the site in the round before. And we're back to these slower defaults. And that's where roosters seem to become a little bit more cheeky. The smoke thrown into the window as mid control seems to be the goal. There isn't much presence here. You have a player on short, one around connector, but they've somewhat given up these angles. Just opting to play within the site. I mean, the order can at least gain some space. It is looking like a split towards this A site with already an angle taken. Oh, that's really awkward for ASAP surviving his last leg. Just one HP is all that he gets. And while forcing him from that angle means a lot is going to come onto Netic. And timing is going to be everything. The push comes through. No flash. They just go wide. They try and take him alone. No utility used. And Alistair has at least brought it back slightly. But 30 seconds now. The bomb is going to be retrieved. But their support rotating in. They've killed off the man as well. Netic has gone huge in this round. And he's finally going to die. But with 20 seconds left, it's all onto Alistair to maybe save their game. As the economy is starting to look... That little bit more rough. And while he has to try and go for a plant here, Chelios. Oh, okay. He's waiting for it, but it doesn't matter. And Aesop's, ASAP's 1 HP actually makes all of the difference. You know what? I'd have it no other way. And oh, I, I would hate to be the in-game leader of order right now. What do you call, Tom? Like, wh wh what do you decide here? The half buy? Just go for the full-fledged buy, go for the win, play for all rather play for overtime. Tech nine rush B would be the would be the well Deagle works as well I guess not for a rush yeah I, I, if you get Deagles I feel like you have to play a little bit slower okay. just because you you, you want to go for those dirty Deags those one taps whereas with Tech nines well there's no stopping the Tech train the Tech train well Netic has really come into his own. And again, again, but this time around, it's going to be Chelios ready and waiting. He's going to find one. He knows there's a couple of players more, and he's going to try his best to just stay alive, not refacing. I do appreciate that. And now the 2T is stuck inside of jungle. Well, they're just going to relinquish the position. They know the, the jig is up. There's no point sticking on around. They're going to be trapped there. So they're going to kind of reposition and try to be cheeky through the smoke. Magnetic and ASAP are ready and waiting. And it's now down to Ricky and Estilo with the Deegs. Make something happen. But to be very honest, Tom, Looks like Rooster are going to get to map point here. 
Well, that's the thing as well. This was a position where I feel like Order had everything to lose. As you mentioned, it was an AWP, an SMG, and some, some pistols. And all I can really say is it seems like Order just clucked it up. Ooh. You appreciate the pun? <laughs> I am not gonna... I, I'm just letting it just like, just kind of like ignore it. Think Tom, about but... what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm just gonna let it go because... Anyway, uh, you, you break me every time you say that, you know that, right? I kind of lose my train of thought. I'd have some <laughs> crazy cool analytical tidbit to give you or to give the audience. And you, you say something like that, you ruin it. You ruin it all, Tom. As long as Jim appreciates it, it's fine. Jim loves it. Oh, 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 netic trap. Uh -oh. oh, the peak though, he okay. does a bit of damage. Chelios, the combat op doesn't work out. Ricky with two, still with one. A 4v2 overtime is looking very likely indeed, unless ASAP does something truly miraculous. Bomb yet to be planted, yet to cross on over. The Molotov, that's gonna be dead giveaway to his position. Alice is gonna find one. It's all an ASAP and there's nothing we can do. Alistair, Ricky, and is still the hero of the final round. Ladies and gentlemen, going to overtime. And yes, that's not a bug. Jira has four kills and 24 deaths. And still, somehow, Order are still in this map. It's just mental. Such a risky play. That is just silky smooth from Ricky. He really has been having a, a standout game for them here. And as I said, it seems to be when they need the rounds the most that these sort of veteran players, these old school aussies step up exactly when they need it most and well it's definitely exciting to see now we get no more economy drought at least for now now this is actually 10k mr3 now personally not a fan I, I like to see all the money in the bank when it comes down to overtime you've, you've played the economy game I, I don't want to see it anymore but because we are on 10k it means that if you lose two rounds in a row especially on the ct side times are getting rough Indeed it is. And we did see it yesterday as well and on Nuke. It was against Mako Shark and um, and Paradox, if I'm not mistaken. And it was Mako who won the two rounds on the T side. And boom, just like that, the CDs, they, they just had pistols to work on the third round. It was just like easy work for Mako. And right now, Rooster are making things look easy on the CD side. Alistair down to 21 HP. At least has the AWP to work with. But Ricky, as long as this guy is alive, I could still believe in order turning this one around, as unlikely as it seems. Lester might have to make one of those pinnacle plays. I'm not particularly liking where the majority of the players are going in comparison to the bomb. Like The bomb's route to this site is not an easy one. Like If it gets dropped in the connector at this stage of the round, we can call it a day. Like we can move on to the next one. It, it really doesn't matter. And I think Ricky, you're going to try and run the gauntlet to B. There's a player on short. Like th this seems so disjointed. The plan is out the window. In fact, I think the plan has been completely destroyed. It's been burnt, thrown onto the fire. And yeah, that was that was an audacious attempt. But I, I, I think everything just went wrong too fast for them to actually correct things. But that's where we needed to see a, a strong mid-round call. And just as we know, it's important for Rooster if they can drop this orb, get it out of the round, make it a bit tougher for the T's when it comes to purchasing, they're not going to be able to. Yeah, I mean, the good thing being for the, uh, the order side, at least the orb is safe for Alistair. Although, yeah, you save it without a bomb getting planted, that means you don't really have much to work with. Ricky's going to get the orb. I'm wondering he's got a good spawn. No, he doesn't. All right. Interesting. I'm heading towards Pals. Oh, it's Chelios ready and waiting, Tom. This could be bad for Ricky, but he's going to win the duel. Chelios, I think it's like the second or third time so far that he's been taken down. And ASAP aware of Valence's position, but Valence is going to come out on top. And this is looking pretty decent right now for order. 4v3. Netic down to 23 HP. 8k on 19. Don't do it. Don't do take it. it out. And Danny G continues to push. And Valiance, all he had to do was just hold the line and he gets two free kills. That was just dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but like 
you talk about the definition of insanity I, I feel like the goal to do that where it's just like well you failed at this peak so i'll do the same thing at the same angle netic though he's in a good spot oh, oh. not quite he still is ready and now a d to the k left to try and clutch 1v3 i saw his face i'm not a believer not a trace out in my mind 1v3 not possible there. you say that tom you say that and you're right there we go <laughs> Tied up once more. I'm, I'm gonna just go back and just look at the um, how the rounds have played out. This, this second half has looked like a tennis rally. It's ridiculous. Rooster win a round. Order wins two rounds. Rooster wins two rounds. Order win a round. Order win a round. Rooster wins another round. It's so ridiculously back and forth. And uh, almost an hour into this game, it's still even Stevens. Final round and. Off shot miss from Gyra, but Valens and Alice are going to team up together. Tate and Chelios, and he's been losing a lot of his duels, man. But ASAP comes running around the corner, finds Alistair, so that, that's at least a trade taking place. And ADK mm. finding Ricky. This is big. Ricky's been a danger man with the slope area, and it's still a no. I'm not a big fan of him pushing in all by his lonesome, but he's still going to do it. Luckily for him, there's no one nearby to. Uh, your problem is going to be falling on back out from connector. And I'm going to go for the boost again, is the question, this late. Plenty of time. Play with at least. Now they've got an aggressive player in the palace. So I, I like the fact that they've actually doubled up the, the defense in towards the B site. They've used that man advantage to try and put the pressure in that direction. My only worry is Netic. He's got to be very careful. You still are, has been known for pushing through these smokes, known for making these plays. They've had so many flanks go in the other direction that really they should expect it. Is he going to check? Oh, he is. He's realized it. Finally, they've caught that man. And at the perfect moment, as now with 35 seconds up and coming on the clock, they've got to try and run the gauntlet into this B site. And with that two-man stack already prepared, this is going to be a rough take. ASAP, though, just going to be shoulder peeking onto short. He's got his teammate to support as well in the form of Danny. He's here every round. He's always here, and they're going to expect it. Nice work from Girard, but he doesn't quite know that ASAP is here. And a wonderful cleanup to give them the 17th. They'll go into the second half with a lead, but one that, well, it's much of a muchness. They're still going to need a couple on the T side. Yeah, 30 kills for ASAP, man. That's that's ridiculous. And I wonder if uh, PGL can bring up the stat again from earlier where it shows the average health of the of the of the players at the end of the round. Because I want to take a look at it considering we're like 33 rounds in. And I want to see if anything's changed, considering how ridiculously lopsided it was earlier, where even though the score was 8-7 or or 9-7 or something like that, it was still like what? Rooster had double was 10, the average 9. HP. It's 10 9 and, and Rooster had like 119, and uh, I think Order with like 56 or something ridiculous. As Netic yeah. spots at least one player dropping into his underpass, so they're going to be aware of this. Unfortunately for Order, there's no one to really catch off guard here with this aggression. Look at this push two players up, then two players on shore. They are seriously reliant on Alistair here. Now, that's something that we've mentioned throughout today that that seems to be a, an almost play. Danny G. His spidey senses might have been a little bit off. They tingled too early, you could say. As he might be a little bit premature. He is going to be looking back in that direction. And he's spotted out. He was planning on lining up a smoke grenade. Actually could do a fair amount of damage. Just catching Danny once again. But this leaves them in a really awkward spot. Now, there's still time for them to change their plans. But instead, it looks like they are just going to continue to try and barrel into this A site. They almost have to go through the smokes at this point because letting players reposition like this would be a real issue. And they have got out onto the site. The smokes haven't stopped them for long. Even still, though, some very good positions. The crossfires ready and waiting. Chelios is one against a huge amount in the other direction. He's fighting against the ocean, and that ocean is order. It's 17-17. A very good round. And Rooster, well, they've got money. It's not an issue. But if a couple more rounds go the other way, they've lost this hard-fought map. 
Yeah, I mean, I really don't know which way this one's going to go. This is brilliant from Alistair. That, like, he just hits... He's just so sharp. And I, I feel like if you just do... Uh, if someone can, like, dig up the stats and, like... Just with the AWP, like, his hit rate... I think it's going to be... Has one of the highest accuracy with the AWP, at least in the region. 100%. Here we go. Aggression, though. And ADK finds one. Still a with the very delayed trade. But Chelios replies back. Meantime, Ricky finding Danny G on the look towards B Apartments. And again, 3v3 Yenetic. Coming up here. But Jairo, the flashbang is perfection. Finds ASAP. Unaware of the player right underneath. But doesn't matter. It's a 2v3 favoring order now. Not one minute. So to play with. So not really a, an issue of time, but an in, issue of personnel. Opponents two-man to the good, and more importantly, finances firmly in their favor if this was to go further. Important kill from Ricky as well, as said. Been the man in this map. Anetic going to be the only one to try and face off against him. He doesn't have much support, but the rotation already coming in from Jarrah. That's a free kill, though. Doesn't know where the remainders are, so he's actually going to, well, waste a Molotov towards the apartments, unknowing that both players currently sit within the market. There's a peak coming out. They're going to try and face off against him. Netic, I think, gets tagged by the AWP. Looking for a little bit more. Spots out the same man again, but nothing really coming up for him. The shot's just not landing, and the re-peak into the AWP of Alistair, even with a flash blinding him, is not going to be enough. Order have got themselves to map point once again on the pick of their opponent. Well... We might be about to see that to be determined sign change as all they need is this one. Well, earlier it was Rooster at map and match point. So, sorry, rather map point. And now the tables, my, my, how they have turned indeed. Alistair. Now he's starting to wake up. All the attack comes in. He knows he's legged the player. And the nade's going to find the mark. Alistair survives in 3 HP, but he gets a crucial kill onto ASAP. And all he has to do right now, Tom, is fall all the way back and play the most passive angle on this map possible. ADK just with the deagle. He can retrieve the rifle from ASAP on the top mid. But already order four kills remaining to take map number one. And what, what a brawl it's been so far. Not going to count anyone out after just a single kill has gone by. But the last few rounds haven't looked particularly good on this T side. It seems like Order having all the pieces to the pie have put them in a much better position here. Even some of the players that have been a bit underwhelming in this match starting to put up the numbers when they need it. And well, that's normally the sign of a stronger squad is when it gets to overtime, they don't miss a beat. Well... I am starting to tick. They're very spread out on the T side, in fact. Still one up towards the apartments, maybe selling a bit of a fake. Connector for another in the form of Netic. And the remaining two players just looking to try and make their way out of A. Walking through, not making a sound. Netic's going to be the first one to throw at utility, but it's too late. Chelios has gone down. The bomb has hit the deck, and the time continues to tick down. They haven't even cleared the back of the site. This could be perfect for Valiant's whiffs. That might be enough to at least give them a chance to peek from Netic. Won't do anything. And Danny G is done for. It is order to cling oh. to life, to fight tooth and nail for this map. And they will take it 1917.